This is different from reading. First, write and learn the speech thoroughly. Make notes of all the key points in the same order. Refer to your notes to ensure all the points are covered. This will give the impression that you are directly addressing the audience. From memory. If you have a brief speech, you can speak it from memory. Those who are passionate about a subject and know it thoroughly can speak from memory. It would be a good idea to plan the speech, make points and then stick to the order. Tips for speech delivery. Make sure that you appear groomed, pleasant and wear good clothes and shoes. Speak clearly and adjust your voice so that everyone can hear you. If there is a mic, get a sound test done before the audience is seated. If you're nervous, you tend to speak rapidly. So just take a deep breath and pace your speech. A pause in your speech is effective when you want to emphasize a point and allow the audience to react when you're saying an anecdote or joke. Make eye contact with your audience. They will pay better attention and react to your statements by nodding or smiling. Keep your hands free for gestures. Do not pull your clothes or scratch your head or make nervous movements. Be yourself. Allow your own personality to come across in your speech. Stage Fright Facing the audience is an uneasy experience for some. This uneasiness comes from being not prepared. If you have understood all that you have heard earlier in this segment, you will have no problem in preparing yourself. Confidence comes with adequate preparation. If you are prepared, you will be confident. If the subject is your personal choice, you will be confident. If you have taken time to add jokes, anecdotes, visuals, you should actually be eager to get onto the stage and make your speech. Confidence comes when you are wearing comfortable clothes and polished shoes. You will not worry that your shirt looks unironed or shoes are not polished. Smile and push your shoulders back. Keep your chin high. You will be amazed how much confidence physical gestures like this can give you. Come early to the venue, stand on the stage and get used to facing the chairs. Check the microphone, the lights, screen and projector. Once your name is announced, walk up with a smile and do your best. Be enthusiastic, energetic and eager. Look at the persons in the first row. Wave to the last row. Ask them, can you hear me? Can you see the screen? How do I write a speech? This is where most of us get confused. The best advice anybody has ever given a speaker is, when you give a speech, tell them what you are going to say. Say it and then tell them what you said. Let us break it down into three parts. Any speech, story or writing has a beginning, middle and end. The opening. Your first sentences are the most important as far as the success of a speech is concerned. If you can catch the attention of your audience with it, then they will stay back to listen to you. If you are going to say, I am so grateful to be invited or how I am so happy to be here, you are doomed. Keep your thanksgiving for the end. Make an unconventional beginning. Describe an anecdote. Tell a joke relevant to the subject. Ask a question. Then tell them what you are going to speak about. The middle. The middle is the largest part of your speech. This will contain your point of view. Divide this into points or statements. Each statement should lead into the other progressively. Illustrate with examples. Repeat a statement if necessary. 
use pauses. The listener.